Hello friends. Hi, it's uh, Sherry with Sharon Sherry and I'm here to share with you today um, a card making process. Um, if you go to craftsyouprint.com they have all kinds of different downloadable files to make cards. There's some gorgeous images on there. So this is like one of my favorites and I don't know the um, exact number but it looks like it's from Karen ADR A D A I R. Uh, these are really simple to make and they're so gorgeous. Um, so I was going to go ahead and share the process that I do to make one of these cards real quick. So first off um, you print this out onto your printer. I scaled it down to where this piece, the front of the card, uh, is five inches by five inches. Um, these I'm going to cut out separately. I'm going to fussy cut them. Um, so here we go. What I'm going to probably do is just roughly cut around this area and then use my trimmer. Actually, I'm not even going to use this part. There's some sentiments on here, birthday wishes, uh, with loving wishes. So I'm just going to roughly cut out this square and then go ahead and trim it up with my paper trimmer. I also have some extra, this is going to be the base of my card, this purple card stock, and here's some extra white for layering. I'm going to put those aside for now. Put this aside, get my paper trimmer out. Okay. I'm gonna line this up. Cut this out. They have so many different designs on this website. I just went on there now and if you sign up for their email they'll send you some free files. You can get some free files to download. They also have cutting files on there um, for your scan and cut, for your uh, silhouette, your Cricut. I did try to scan these into my brother scan and cut and uh, I didn't read them real well. I, I haven't really played with it that much, so I'm just going to trim these little corners here real quick. There's probably a way to do it. I just, I'm by no means an expert. <laughs> so I'm cutting these little white tips off here. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these flowers and get rid of this stuff. This is such a pretty card when it's done. It's the three-dimensional decoupage and it's so easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this out so that I can just work a little bit easier with this piece here. find it a little bit easier to move the paper than it is to move your scissors if you've ever fussy cut in. So if anybody can tell me how to uh, get these images where my scan and cut would cut them out, that would be great. I have like three more I printed off. These make such beautiful cards. So 
There's that one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut this one out. Again, it's at um, craftsyprint.com. I don't know where they're based out of. I don't think it's the United States, but. And I do think, and, and don't quote me on this, but I think that you can sell your created, your finished, you can't sell the, of course, the, the files, but you can sell your um, finished product double check on their angel policy don't quote me on that Also, if you're a card creator, I think you can upload your own images for card designs, too. The nice thing about this is once you have the file, you can use it over and over and over again. I don't want the white to be showing, so I am going to trim this out just a little bit more. It's going to show on that background. So I don't any, want any white. Okay, so there's those two. Got two little butterflies. And this goes together so fast. And easy. Okay, so now I got this butterfly. So I do have some envelopes that are five and a half. This piece is, the main piece I cut out was five inches, that's what I had scaled it down to. So I'm going to make the base of my card to where it's going to fit in that envelope nicely. Or you can always use your We Are Memories Keeper, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board or your Martha Stewart scoreboard to make your envelopes the right size. You can make them out of such beautiful paper too. I've had this card for, or this actual file for probably, probably a few years now. But they have so many different 3D images. You'll be amazed once you get on there. <laughs> be prepared to sit there for a while. At least I did. Crafter's candy, crafter's candy. This one's itty bitty. Itty bitty. Itty bitty. Okay. So now I got all my little pieces cut out. I got my base. I got my two little butterfly pieces. And my two flower images that are identical. We're going to 3D these on top of each other. Okay, but first I want to go ahead and put my, my card on the base. I'm going to make a base. So this is an 8.5 by 11. Um... So I want to cut it down. Since my envelope is five and a half, I think I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter. So I'm going to get out my trimmer. I'm going to put these to the side real quick up here. Okay, so I want to make this five and a quarter. Let me see how my how my piece is going to fit on before I cut that. 
make that to five and a quarter because I am going to layer just a tiny you know what maybe I'll go no just five and a quarter okay so five and a quarter I want to go ahead and score it first I want to Okay, so if this is, that's five and a quarter, this is also five. So this is going to be 11. So why isn't my brain working? Um, so I want this at five and a quarter, so that would be ten and a half. So I'm going to cut this down to ten and a half. Since it's eleven and a half, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off an inch. This doesn't work, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> okay, so I cut off an inch. Now. What I'm going to do is score this at five and a quarter. Okay, five and a quarter. Martha Stewart scoreboard. Love it. Now look, I messed up. Okay, so, darn it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm mad. Okay, so obviously that's not how we needed it. Ten and a half. Oh, I'm dumb. I um I was thinking it was eleven and a half. So let me see if I got another piece real quick. Probably not. <laughs> my luck. Um wait, maybe I do. Okay. I think here it is. Okay, I do. All right, so I'm going to save this because maybe I'll use it in the card still. So I'm going to go ahead and score it this time first. Um, five and a quarter, right? Okay, I'm going to score it at five and a quarter. Go ahead and fold it over. Can you see that? Okay. Now, I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter, I think. Now that it's folded, I'm just going to go ahead and put it up here and cut at five and a quarter. Okay. And then this way I want it at five and a quarter. So that gives me a five and a quarter base. I think I need to change my blade. Okay. So now I have a five and a quarter base. This will fit right on there. I'll turn it this way. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna get out of my white. I'm just gonna do five and a quarter plus an eighth. Because I wanna I want that five and a quarter plus an eighth. No, I'm gonna do five and three eighths. Hope this works. I'm gonna make a five and three eighths. One, two, three. No, that's not gonna work. Five and a quarter. I'm gonna do five and one eighth. This might not work, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> five and one eighth square, because I want that to be layered. Okay, so here's my five and one eighth. And I just want it to barely show, and it does. I don't know if I like that. Do you guys like that? Or just leave it like this? Let's just leave it like this. Forget the white. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm just going to use my tape runner. Glue this down to the base. Tape it down. Okay. So, put that down. Sorry about the shadows here, guys. I got a little bit of this sticking out. Okay. Now, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your little pieces here and I'm going to grab my foam tape, my 3D tape. Okay, I also have 
some little squares too. I think I got them at somewhere. <laughs> I saw them little squares. They might have been paper wishes. I think that's maybe where I got them. All right. So now I want to 3D this right on top of here. Get my little pieces out of the way. I'm going to cut some of these. Some little pieces out of here. Or, you know what, I'm just going to use these little guys. I think these were from Paper Wishes. Okay, so I'm just, well, actually, I'll cut the majority of the big piece. I'm going to cut a piece that's going to fit right on here. Just cut a couple edges. My scissors are, like, so sticky. <clears throat> I should... Get some of that goo gone, clean them off. You know what else cleans these off? And then I don't know if it's good for your scissors or not, but I've used fingernail polish remover. That helps. Just on a cotton ball. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. I'm hoping my dots or my squares are the same height, which it looks like they are. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these all over here and there just so that I support that piece so I'm just putting those pieces on there that three-dimensional tape or that mounting tape and I do want to add quite a few because I don't want it to cave in anywhere I mean through mailing or what have you. You can even cut these little guys in half and like so. So you can get those little itty bitty places in here. Right there and right there. Let me go ahead and cut another one. And just kind of get those on there. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. I'm going to take off the back on all of these little pieces. Probably the longest process in making this card. Okay, so now I'm going to place the image directly on top of the same image. Okay, line that up and press down. So now that's created. I don't know if you can see it but like a 3D image. Okay. Now I'm going to do the, the same thing with this one so we can put it up on here. So let me get the tape. That's too big. Probably. Let me just trim these corners a little bit. Ugh. Stickiness. This is my only second video video ever, guys, so <laughs> I am by no means an expert. But I thought these were so cool. I wanted to share them with you. I love paper arts. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get these little guys back on here. These little itty bitty ones. We need to cut a couple. I'm just going to cut this guy in half. Okay, right there. Right there. Let me think one more. Mess it. What happened there? Oh. Why isn't that sticky? Oh, because I got to pull off the back. Duh. Here's your sign. Like that there. And this one. Okay. 
Okay, let's get the backs off. Okay, there's my card. Yeah. I'm going to stick this right on top of the last one and 3D mount it. Okay, there we go. So now, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it doesn't look the greatest when it's held by the on the side if you're looking at the mountain, mounting tape, but it's, the prettiness is going to compensate for that. So now i got my two little butterflies. I'm going to go ahead and do them. On this one, though, I think I'm just going to stick up the back part of the wing. I don't want the whole thing. I want this little part right here. If you can see that, I want this little body, the where he's it's connected to his body or her body. I don't know. Maybe it's a female. I want that down, and then I want to mount up the wing part. So let's see. Just want these kind of over here. It's kind of big. Cut it down a little bit. So. Um, take these off. And go ahead and mount that down like so. I think I need a little dab of glue right there. And I have, I have this fine line glue, and it has this never clog tip, which is great for fine detail, but if somebody could tell me how to not get it to clog, because it clogs. So, um, let me figure out what I can do here. I just want a little dab of glue right there. Hope we got that on straight. It looks straight. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and get this little guy too. I just need probably this is the other one, the other little butterfly. Let's see. I just want it on the tip of the wing, basically. Okay. I don't think I need this little piece. So that's going to go right here. Now, let me figure out, get some of this glue. <gasps> Not good. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to just get a little piece of paper that I have right here and get some glue on that. And I am going to stick it under here. Hold that down for a second. Glob of glue. Little glob of glue. Let that dry. This I just filled up with um, some regular craft glue. I do like my favorite glue is um this Fabri-Tac and Genevieve from Genevieve Designs uses this and it is amazing I love it I love 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 this glue okay so I think that's good so now we have some 3D design on there let me get a paper towel and clean my glue glop glue glop Glue glop. Clean that off. Anyways, I'm disappointed in this thing. It's probably... I haven't used it in a long time. I did wash it out once with hot water and I unglued, clogged it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella. Wink of Stella brush from Zig. 
shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. And then I am just going to go ever so slightly around the edges of this little butterfly and give it a little bit of bling. Not much. And the, I'm going to do the, um, I'll probably do this a couple times. Let's see, is that even working? Do I have anything in there? Oh. Yeah, it's coming off. You can't really see it all that much, but it is there. I'm just going to go around the edge of the butterfly. And I think these flowers, this rose, just around the edge. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to go around that edge though. Kind of using the edge of the paper as my guide. Do this flower too back here. Go in here a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I should have cut that little white piece out right there. Oh well. I don't think the recipient will care. What do you think? In here. I mean, this would be a beautiful sympathy card. And what you can do is just stamp your cinnamon in here. Oops. Probably put a piece of, <clears throat> stamp it on a piece of the scrap purple, and then maybe layer it with white. I don't really like that white though. Maybe it would look better on the inside. It might. Put it on the inside and then do a little stamped image right there. Cut a little rectangle or cut something out of your die cuts and then layer it on top. And I may I may go over this again once this dries. It does add and this little wink of Stella pin adds a lot to the finished card. Very pretty. But I don't know if you can see that on camera. It does add a little sorry about the shadow. It does add that extra touch. Anyways, how long did that take me? I do want to show you another one I did quite a while back. This was on their website as well. This one I put stickles on. It's got some stickles and I put a a um, pearl, flat back pearl. And I also cut out a flower and did a border uh, punch with the darker purple and cut out that flower. I think it was this flower but I printed it too big so instead of wasting it I fussy cut it and then just put it in here. And that's what you can do too is print out another one of these and fussy cut it and just add it on the inside maybe even the envelope, the outside of the envelope. But anyways, hope you like. Uh, again, that's Craftsy Print. I'm not affiliated with, in any way with them. Um, but they're a cool website that I'd share. So please give me a thumbs up. Second video ever. Appreciate it. I'm just going to add a little bit more over here. So thanks for watching, everybody. Again, this is Sherry with Sharon Sherry. Toodles.